video I'm going to show you what it's like to get groceries into our cabin um, in the winter. It's different than the normal life that most people live. <laughs> um, and I'll show you what's different. So first of all, I don't drive in my car from my house. I drive in a six-wheeler and sometimes I drive a four-wheeler or a snowmobile to go to the grocery store. And because this six-wheeler isn't working the best, I have to plug it in. And hopefully, hopefully it starts when I get back so I can get the groceries back up here. So I unplug this and now I'm going to drive to the winter parking lot to where my car is and get in my car to go to the grocery store. winter parking lot and I face my six-wheeler facing the sun instead of turned in like that because it's it keeps the cab warmer and it also keeps the engine warmer and with it not wanting to start when it's cold <laughs> this is a way sometimes that it's able to start when I get back from grocery shopping so I hope that it will start this time um, but let me show you what I used all last year. Okay, so this is what I used most of the year last year was this four-wheeler. And you had to MacGyver it too. There's a weird way to start it. You have to start it in a funky way. Like I have to use my feet to get it to start with both my hands. It's interesting. <laughs> so that's what I had to do last year. And then I would use this toboggan and we would, um, the kids would come with me so then they'd ride on the toboggan and on the four-wheeler and a lot of times they'd sit right in front of the four-wheeler and then two on the back and then we'd have the groceries in the toboggan and as you can see there's snow in the toboggan and so sometimes I'd have snow in the toboggan and we'd put sometimes unfortunately we would have paper sacks because of the store I went to that's all they have um, and so it, it it created problems with the paper sacks having snow in there and then the paper um, then the plastic bags not so much but this is where we would put the groceries and if we had a lot of groceries we would have to put them on on the handlebars and then these little things um, right here to um, hold all of our groceries it's quite the task but that's what we did last year the kids and I to go grocery shopping and bring the groceries home and get um, them into our cabin home here in the mountains. So I am going to go to the store now. And usually when I go to the grocery store, there's snow on the car. So I have to wipe down the snow and a lot of times there's ice on all the windows and the windshield. So I have to scrape it. So it takes a lot more time just to leave the parking lot to go to the grocery store but we found these really awesome windshield guards or whatever you want to call them and so all they are is they have these bungees and you just take them off the mirrors on both sides and unfortunately this one broke but um here's the the brand new one we have on our truck so this is supposed to be over that <laughs> um, but it guards the windshield and we're we then we don't usually have to scrape or it's a minimal scraping see as you can see there's really nothing that I no ice that I need to scrape but the Sun is also up so it's been getting plenty of snow if there or sunshine if there was some ice underneath this windshield protector so luckily it just snowed a skiff of snow last night so I don't have much to clean off of the car. So I can get going pretty quickly. Okay, I'm in my car, going to the grocery store. I'm putting the groceries in my car. <laughs> it's a 
this is normal. But when I get back, I'm gonna have to unload and then reload. <laughs> and then unload again. That's where it's different. Okay, now I'm back here. And I'm gonna start unloading the groceries here into the six-wheeler. If it was a snowmobile, I would have to hook things onto the handle of the snowmobile because we didn't really, we don't really have anything that goes behind the snowmobile. Now here's the test to see if this will start. I hope it starts. Has it been gone? Oh. Yay, it started. Okay, so I gotta let it warm up. This is really finicky, it has to warm up before I can actually push the gash, gas. <laughs> Anyways. So I'm going to unload the groceries and load them into the six wheeler. So if this doesn't start, then it's a pain in the butt because if the kids are with me, then we just have to walk home and then I have to grab like a snowmobile or whatever's available and sometimes th those didn't start before we got the electric start snowmobile. And so it was kind of an ordeal. Um, but luckily this started and I can just load the groceries and then unload them in my house. Now to unload the groceries <laughs> and take them in the house and then unload and put them in the fridge and wherever they go. So that's what we do here in the mountains, living in the mountains in the winter um, to get our groceries in and out. That's our life. Hope you guys are doing well. Catch you later. Bye.